Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle. Check, check, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, Official Miss Jamaica, what's going on? No, 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 my dear, well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. When I mean all, I mean all. I mean on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just go ahead and Google us. You, we'll pop up first in line. But if you want to see all our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. There you can go ahead and hit subscribe and notifications so you don't miss any of this dope interview at all. Any of it. But if you want to see the exclusive stuff that not everybody can see, you have to subscribe and join our membership. How you do so is under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section, there is a link that says join our membership. Click that link, it takes you through the process, and that's how you can join our membership. Because y'all see us and be like, man, I love what y'all doing. How can we support the brand? Well, this is how you can support the brand. Join our membership. Thank you. Hey, man, man listen, man. I got some special guests in here today, y'all. They don't need no introduction, man. It's going down, man. We got our first official car club on Boss Talk 101. It about to go down today, guys. Hey, man, listen, show your love, man, for Player Joey in Player the Joe building. in the building, Boss Talk 101. And little Pinky, what it do? What's up, y'all? You know who it is. It's your girl, Little Pinky. Man, it's going yes, down. Yes, baby. Yes. What's man, up, y'all? How you doing, man? I'm so good. it's going down, man. I just wanted to get you in here because... I, you know, I wanted, I, I had met you a while back when Lil Griefo was on here, and I said I wanted to get a car club on here, and we've set the date, and the date is here, and I want to go down through there. So, I just want to get to know a little bit about the car club. I just want to know just even what inspired it, right? Mm -hmm. So, let's get out. I'm going to let you go first. Ladies first. Ladies first. So, you were born and raised where? Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. Okay. What part? Dallas, literally Dallas, West Dallas. West Dallas. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you raised with your mom, your dad? Yeah, I had both for a little bit, and then they, they, they parted ways. How old were you? Oh, eight, nine years old, maybe. Mm. One of those one of those time, hard times. You so know? you stayed with your mama? Um, actually, went with my dad for about a couple of years, and then it's easier at mom's. So oh, okay, daddy we, too strict. We, we, we yeah, we, we bounced. We yeah. so you, you siblings? Yeah, we have a couple of, a couple of brothers with me. Yes. So they they joined you along with that. They didn't say, okay, I still want to stay with daddy. I don't want to go with mama. I was a troublemaker, so so I'm, they followed I'm, you. I left. Oh, I left. okay. They Are you stayed. the oldest? No, I'm the middle one. And a troublemaker. And the troublemaker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I changed. You changed. I changed, as you can see. We're here, boss talk, one on one, doing it. What a boss's talk. That's it. What made you change? Cause you know we all have to bump. Our heads to change. So, what made you change? Um, for some reason, I was in jail at 18 years old. For some like, reason, yeah. Like I, was, I don't <laughs> even know what it was. Like some reason, I was in jail. So, yes. um, that's another discussion. So, <laughs> I was in there and, I'm, and I told myself, "Why am I in here? 18 years old. I don't have a car." That's your first time. No, no. It was my first time opening my eyes, though. Okay. And How many so, times did you had to get in trouble before you, your eyes were open? Mm, I still get in trouble. So. <laughs> But they're open a little bit better, though, you know, <laughs> so I have a good job now and um, have my kids and stuff like that. So kids make make you change. But okay. that was later. That was about 20 years old when they came around. The reason why I ask you that, because I've seen so many people who continuously get in trouble over and over. And I'm like, dang, right. when are you going to get it? When is it going to register for you to stop? It, right. It's only sending you right back to this mm -hmm. point. Like, what is it? So that's the reason why I ask that, because yeah. I'm like, if you have a solution, then, you know, they'll be more than happy to hear the solution. But anyway, uh, oops. check it, man. Let's get back into it. I'm sorry about that, guy. So you always had a love for cars, even as a kid? Yeah, actually, um, when I was with my mom, when I went up going to my mom, she, um, her brother, one of my uncles, uh, was in a car club mm -hmm. back then. So ever since I was young, I seen him. And I actually had a dream of getting a 64 Impala. Really? Up. Yeah. So that was something I had to get. When I got older and got back wow. on track. You sure it wasn't because you heard the song say, Cruising down the street. No, that was before that. That was, <laughs> that was what you heard. You that heard was that. Say, Cruising down the street. When you heard that, what did you say? Oh, uh, I can't wait to get one. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Wow. I knew I was going to get one, though, growing up. I knew I was going to get one. That was one thing I had to have. 
What, what did you say when you seen Ice Cube come through in that green when he said, just waking up in the morning, got to thank God? Man, we do got to thank God. So he's right. <laughs> you know, one thing, too, is like when you see that video, it makes you want another one. It makes you want one more. Uh, more. So I can keep going because there was another one. Where what was the other one? It had to be uh, Boys in the Hood. 6'4 was on there. That gold one. You remember the yeah, gold one? Oh, yeah. Nice. Is 6'4 just a very popular year? It's a year? very it's like popular the, car. Is it the most popular year yes, for them? Yes, I would say so. Yeah, 64 would be. That one's a 63 in that one, but uh, 64. It was a 63? Mm -hmm. that, that yeah, gold one? The gold one. Really? Yeah. I never nice, knew. Nice, though. It was nice. It was pretty. That's nice. What's the best looking Impala you've ever seen in your life so far? Um, if I can get one, which I'm getting ready to hope get one soon, is a 58 for me. A lot of people like the 59s. Those are popping right now like crazy. But mine's a 58 Impala. So that's the best. That's the. For me. For you. Me. And why is that one? Why? Um, just what? the tail fins of it. And then like the way the lights are on the back of it. And then that front end. If you look at the front end on it, when you look them up, you're going to, it's a bulldog look. It Which looks, one's worth more, the 64 or the 50? The 59 right now. 59. Original 59 right now, they're pushing for about 300. Mm. Yeah. Pinky. Yes. What's going on? Nothing much. Big Pinky, not the little Pinky. Let's go. <laughs> no, I like little Pinky. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, like, I like feeling little. Okay. Uh, I don't want to be big. <laughs> so Let's you see. born and raised where? Dallas. Dallas, what North part? Dallas. North Dallas. Mm -hmm. Okay, what was it like growing up in North Dallas? Uh, from I'm from Web Chapel. I, I was okay. about to say she used to be. I seen her over at. Uh, oh no, you did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I seen that. Uh, what was that, that store over there? DK. Yes. Ah! Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like Nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. Why everybody worked there? Everybody worked there. <laughs> you know, remember what the girl used to work here? Uh. Just, 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 yeah. Oh, you sent yeah, him. You sent him. You sent him. You went over to Web Chapel from here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And then uh, mm -hmm. we lost a couple to the ones around the corner right. too. They got one around the corner from here. Yeah. yeah, but then they turned to the villa and all that. And then they now they what are they now? Oh, I don't even know. They sell them. I don't go no more. I'm away. You used to be selling them shoes, wasn't you? Yeah. Girl was a shoe yeah. salesman. You hear me? Uh, what do you want? Uh, yeah, what size do you got? We got the phone. No, that's the only size we got right there. You know? Well, I feel honored. <laughs> <laughs> you look like so, size ten. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I gotta sorry. ask, can you sing? No. Because you have a strong voice. Mm -hmm. Your yeah, intro yeah. and yeah. the way how you say it, I'm like, I keep feeling like you have like a singing voice. I would like to, but yeah. I, I don't know. I'm, Let's talk about the history. Yeah. How did you end up linking with the players? Um, well, <laughs> Ray T., um, mm -hmm. asked me to come out and if I would jump in a video that they decided they were going to do at the last minute. That's hard. And then it was my first time meeting him. Uh, at the shoot, I agreed. I went up there, and then I met um, Ivan Garcia. Yeah, that's my boy. There, and he started talking to me. He was like my vibe, whatever. We were talking business, and then next thing you know, it he connected me to players. Already, man. Yeah. Shout but, out did, to but you said he reached out to you. He reached out to you on social media, or how did Ray he reach? You? Yeah. Uh, no, he has my number. Oh. I mean, okay. Well, he has my number because he reached out to me before. Oh, okay, okay, yes. okay, okay. Yeah, that, okay. believe yes. me, he jumped in them DMs. That's how they do it. I, 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 I didn't have that. We didn't jump in DMs back in the days. We, I don't know. What did you do? Well, when you, you meet somebody, what the first thing you do is you walk up to her. If you were at the club, you asked if she want to dance. Now, we fast forward. It's not that no more. So when we see them, we'll write a letter. You no, know what I'm not, saying? it's not yeah, if you want to dance. We'll you got to buy a, a drink before you, you dance. Know, nah, we're, no, no, you don't. No, yeah. see, I know how it goes. No, you didn't buy no drink before you dance. Everybody was dancing. We was in the club. You don't buy my drink. No, we that, ain't you. We ain't buy no drink. Thank you. Me you. Get no, my drink, you don't me. buy no drink because y'all really all out there to party. Now, you can get a drink. That's a small have thing a good to a time giant. Too, but you're out there to have you a good time. You can tell too. women all they want to do is get somebody to buy a drink. That's why no, these brothers no, no. divorce right now. I tell them their age, too, though. Yeah. That's what it is. But in the club, they're supposed to check that coming in. But I'm telling you, it would be a crowd of people. It really wasn't about the drink. We'll buy a drink, but mostly we were trying to dance back in the day. See, y'all don't know nothing about it because y'all young. That's we it. used to dance. Y'all oh, want to talk about back in the day? Back in the day. Back, back in the day. <laughs> yeah, we, didn't want, we wanted okay. to dance, man. Okay. But a slow drag so I could get close to you. If your yeah. breath stank, I wasn't going to buy you no drink. I'm done with you right after that. Yeah. <laughs> But He's no, like, I, I definitely cool. no, no. But I, I'm gonna be real with you, man. I I enjoy the car scene, man. Like 
I got a few cars. I'm not like Carlos Miller. That's my boy. He got like 50 of He might have 500 of them. He just bought a mechanic shop. Play on 85 South. He loved cars. But I had, now I did have uh, uh, my boy, uh, uh, my boy, Dunk Master. Dunk Master. He was just oh, here yeah. last week. So, yeah, I always have him. He's been on here like, what, three or four times. But I wanted to get a low rider, you know, car club, right. the Hispanic culture. Y'all thick in Texas, man. Uh, thick in, in California too, but in Texas, y'all Where did roll it originate hard. from? Where did low what? riders? Low riders, that's the California. Um, it is California, yeah. I'll, California. I'll, give it, I'll give it California. So yeah. we don't do know. You know. Do you know no, what year or when did it actually come out here to Dallas? No, I know when um, we were growing up, like I said, it's it's always the 80s been here. And it was here, so it, it was here been somewhere in the probably mid 70s, I'm sure. If but, you go into movies, where, where did we see them first start popping up? Uh, like back then, you'd have. Um, Cheech and Chong. That one was there, but they had a uh, like, oh man, there's a couple of movies, Boulevard Nights or something like that. That's a good one. That's an old school that yeah. had some rides in there, and and it kind of gives the culture of California, you know. And, yeah, Cali was definitely on it first. No, they did. I, they did the small that. rims and all that, but we perfected it. We ain't gonna give them the food, but we're gonna give. <laughs> we don't give. I'm getting the Shout cards. Ivan because he be lying about the food yeah, up yeah. there in San Diego, but we gonna get out on the trip. We gonna, yeah. we gonna pull up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what, what what was your first car you say again? Uh, me, I ended up buying a, um, I had a 67 El Camino mm. and, um, that's when I got a gel. So <laughs> that's when I opened my eyes and everything. And the only thing about that one is budget. So I never put it together really, you know, but that was one of the first ones I was trying to get together. And I ended up buying, um, 19, uh, it was a 93 Chevy pickup truck. It's not a low rider, but I was making it low rider style, had little wheels on it. I was putting hydraulics in it and all that good stuff, paint, everything that comes with it. Can so. you make any old school, uh, a low rider? You can. Um, I just bought a 62 Lincoln Continental, and I wouldn't make that one a low rider, though. I wouldn't make okay. it a low rider. Because I only see, like, certain type of cars usually end up being low riders, but since you're putting this little wheels on it does and make it and drop it to the ground. Is that considered as a low rider? Right. No, that's ugly. Don't <laughs> <laughs> go go ask me. But a lot of people do it, though, right? You know, you don't think in the 90s. I wouldn't consider it as a low rider. I'll just look at it as just a car with small wheels, not a low rider. I don't know. I especially if, I it, especially if it has style, the hydraulics right? and can do all of the stuff and whatever. No, yeah, I guess so. All right, go what ahead. Kind of See, car that's when that? it goes that's back like to a, us. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what, why don't you go and ask them about that Monte Carlo that you asked Dunk Master about the other week? Which one? What? How many doors it have on Oh, the um, because we were driving down the street one day, right? And we saw a Monte Carlo, and it had two doors. So I'm like, okay, does a Monte Carlo come with four doors? And he was like, um, no, he's never seen. So I looked it up, and there are Monte Carlos with four doors, but he says the ugliest that thing, thing ugly, he's ever babe. seen. Boy, I think about it. That thing ugly, babe. <laughs> but to me, I'm like, I would want to get it because anything that's like have you ever seen one? two or three. Seen have one. you ever seen, seen one? one. Was it probably look? worth more than ugly. the regular. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not it worth won't more. Be. It won't be. And because, because if they of only the make height. like two or three or four. You see one? But it's yeah. rare. Yeah. It's have you seen one? <laughs> it's rare. Like, do you, for example, like these. Have you seen a four door? No. There's. There's four doors. Oh, I've definitely seen 64 and Palo four doors. I'm telling you. That's the difference. Monte Carlo. Oh, that's ugly. We've never, I had never heard of until I Googled it. Right. And then I'm like, I said, God dang. It's, uh, I mean, for me, in my opinion, they were ugly. But, I mean, to each their own, of course, for cars. Because a lot of people got love for them a different mm. way. You know, sometimes it's a hand-me-down car and or, you know, gift it from a grandparent. And they probably only made it one year. Probably. I'm old. <laughs> I was around. I didn't see them when I was young. Yeah, yeah. Where they was at? They were bit, probably hitting. They were ugly. Boy, they smashed them hoes <laughs> quick. <laughs> you know, back in the day, they smashed them cars. Yeah, yeah. They'll take them across the scales and Smash. scratch and give you about $100 for yeah. them. Oh, wow. That's it? You That's didn't it? know that? No, oh, I mean, I'm sure, but... Did you, you knew about yeah, it. That's then. how they do it. That's how they do it. That's why the cars go. Yeah. They smash them cars, man. But like Mr. Do Mega they still said, smash them? It's probably... It's probably... Yeah. They're probably going to come... You know, they're going to come out if there's any available still. Because I, I always think that anything rare. that's rare, yeah. it costs a lot of money if it's rare. But I need to look up the prices on both and see and match the difference and see really which one's worth that more. That Cardova was, was rare too. Yeah. yeah. What's the most expensive low rider? That Plymouth was rare. That um, like I said, right now, the um, 1959 Impala is the ones convertible. 
and convertible. That's the most expensive. Right now, like I said, I see him hitting. That's what he's looking at. That's what he's looking at. But I'm out of what you looking at. Oh, is, for me to buy? No, I'm talking like Not just in overall. Overall, yeah, yeah, the, low the, rider. The 59 Impala convertibles right now are. It's more expensive. Is the most yeah, those are the ones that are top. If you okay. have that, you you doing it. You boss talking it. <laughs> Ooh, we <laughs> got to get one of them things. Yeah, if you got one of those, you in. Wow, well, that's and, and and that's not the that that must I do muscle cars, so right. it's a little different, right? Yeah, so a little bit. I mean, you gotta think about it. Like a lot of people do original stuff, and a lot of people soup them up. Yeah, um, like I do. They'll original. do the LSs and yeah. When you soup that. up cars, because um, does that take away the value of your car? Do they do that a lot in low riders? Do people stray away from the original? You know, they do when they put them thirteens on it. Yeah. Does so that take away the value? It it does. It does. But sometimes it just looks so good in it. It fits right. It runs right. You get your money. Oh, you still get you your get money from money. it. Yeah, because there's yeah. like two categories, right? Like there yeah. is a style for that, and that's a popular thing. So people that do it still make what's money your, off it. What's your dream car? My dream car? Old school. I don't have one. If you had one. Um, We're gonna convert her. Yeah, I was about to say. Though I, no, I don't even know the name of it. Um, it's, a, it's on the Grease movie at the end, where it's a convertible and they're going up in the sky. Ah, uh, what is that? Is that I a Cadillac? I ain't watch Grease. No. I ain't gonna lie. No. I think that's I a Cadillac. Watch Grease. I ain't gonna lie. I know which one you're talking about, she but I thought it was. They not. women. Don't you? Yeah. I didn't watch it. Grease. Like I thought you were gonna say a, a, a <laughs> Chevette. And it, no, you said old school. Oh, oh Chevette yeah. old school. Oh, well, so no, I read and I and I and I and I and I remember them escorts. That's old school now. No, it, I when, like when, that. That's okay. When, <laughs> when something gets to be twenty years old, it's considered old school. Twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. You okay. can get. Do, do you do you think people should get antique? Uh, it's a Bel Air. Right? I'm sorry. Oh, you just said that. You just said that. It's clear. It's clear. Yeah. It's a Bel Air. Okay. Yeah. That's what you want. Yeah. Okay. There. I there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what do Sorry. you what, what do you think, man? Do you feel like you know, um, uh, what? How many cars is too many cars? You can't ever have enough. I wish I had five hundred, you know, or something. But you just need the space yeah. for it. Yeah. I, well, if you have the money for a lot of cars, you should have money for the space. So. Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm not there. What's the most you ever seen a guy have? I think I've seen a guy with a thousand cars that was personally here. Wow. Mm. Personally, that I knew was mm -hmm. was uh, a buddy of mine. He had about twelve, fifteen cars. Wow. That done. 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 And, and, and up, ready to go. Mm -hmm. Now, I've went to some of my partner. You remember, you, you was in Arlington, Barry's Motor, shout out. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah, that was my yeah. boy right there, the okay. owner. Uh, I used to go up there a lot. Uh, we don't have a lot of those. This new one, what's the new one you took me to? The um, off place? 20, um, the one off 20. Everybody right, the go big, there now. The big, the big. It's the new wave thing. Oh, Summit. Yeah. 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 What do you yeah. think about those, though, the new wave? It has, a, it has, it has parts in there. But, Not every you know, part. Not every part. Where's the best place to find parts in Online. Dallas? Oh. Facebook market. <laughs> That's it. Like that. I mean, there's a couple of spots on that they'll share their pages with and like pages, and they'll have some spots you can get. Or swap. So meets. there's no. So there's no location you can go and just other than Summit that you can go and just like I'm ordering this part or I'm right. getting that part. Yeah. What's the most um uh the most what's the hardest part um to find to find when you're looking? Uh, I know them radios. Yeah, I'll be looking for them original radios. And how much have you seen them go as high, you know, for uh, for like the expense of it? Because once you get away from them, you want the original, right? right. But a lot of time in Texas, them old dashboards being sunburned and all kinds of stuff on them old cars. They're hard to find. They're hard to, the original. Hard to find. And if, like you, if you look at my Impala right now, it looks like the original. They didn't upgrade it that? to a Bluetooth. What? Yeah, uh. so now I can use my, you know, it's good though. You, you have your phone, you can play right. the music you want to hear. But it, but it ain't the original no but more. But you still have it the still, look. It still looks. Yeah. So right. my 51 Deluxe I have, it's still only AM, it only has an AM dash on it. And so they have now, you know, Bluetooth capacity. So now you can get a Bluetooth and tuck everything in and still play your music and still keep the originality though. Wow. I got to ask, so... You was telling me earlier that you drive your car like I all drive my car. the time. Mm -hmm. Why do you drive? Because you know, a lot of people when they have old school cars, they try to baby. They drive it on Sundays. They drive it only in the evenings, round the corner and come back home. Right. Why do you drive it so much and all over the place? It's one of those deals where you could say you have it, 
and then it's always parked. It, uh, to me, it doesn't make sense. Put that much money into it, and you can't enjoy it. And so the only way to enjoy it is to drive them, and that's what I do. And when you drive yours, do you drive like 30 miles an hour, or do no. you drive, drive it? Yeah, so to get over here, it took me, I was probably doing about 60, 70 miles an hour. So So you do drive it like? I'm on it. Wow. On it. We went to a car show in Waco, and uh, I drove it to Waco. Mm. I mean, it's an hour and a half from here, and we drove it there the same day and drove back. Do you ever drive so, outside of Texas to do like car shows and stuff like that? Nah, I wouldn't do that because of the tires at 13. They got some guys that do it though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they come through Dallas, they'd be a crab load of them. They'd be yeah, going they to Memphis. Them they go to they Memphis. They drive them. No, yeah, they're driving together. Okay. To Me Memphis. I seen them driving. I stopped them. Or one day I stopped and watched them. It was a bunch of them. They just kept going. Mm -hmm. There was so many of them just following each other going down there. Yeah, and that's how they do it. So if we go, we take somebody with us. A couple of people follow you in case something happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You that's know. a good thing. I drove my old uh, Chevelle. Down in East Texas a few times, bro, drove it back. You remember that? Back in the days. Yeah, but was it, was it when I met you? Or? <laughs> yeah. I didn't do did, it. I was doing it before I met you, too. Mm. So, yeah, it'll still go. That 350, it's going to do what it's supposed to do. That's right. It, it, it definitely would used to do it before. It, people used to drive these cars. Yeah. Right. It's not like they didn't drive yeah. them. They're built yeah. different, too. They were built different. You, you know? drive, and, and if I hit you, you might be in one of them little old bitty cars. It's <laughs> over for you. You'll be in a wheelchair yeah. for sure. I tell my son that all the time because he didn't know that. I said, if God forbid, but if I'm ever in an in a accident, I prefer to be in an old school car in a wreck rather than these new cars because the new cars going to crumble up. Mm -hmm. These old school cars. Why they don't make cars like that anymore Like with that? Money. Money, is it gas, the money? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's head, so the They're heavier heavy. the material That's is, it. the more gas you put in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take some gas. You yeah. hit that four barrel, it's going to take you right on to the gas station. <laughs> well, that should give us the option. When you're though. driving, you'll see that. Oh, it's, it's gone. It's gone. They should gone. give us the option because I prefer safety. You right. know, I want to be safe in my you vehicle. You still have the option though. You can what? go buy an old school car. Um, but you don't <laughs> but you don't drive an old school car every day unless but you're you can, yeah. Mm. He, like, he likes that. He's like, yeah, let's go get an old school. <laughs> I got a couple of them. I just don't get to drive them because I'm always working, man. I gotta take some time out to really just do some stuff, you know. It's a different um, feeling too when you're in it, you know, when you're in them, you're driving. Oh, we done wrote, and we you get like, all those thumbs up all yeah, the time, yeah, everybody up, passing you, know? you thumbs yeah. up. Last time we drove it, we went to Keller's, right? Yeah. We went over to Keller's on Northwest Highway oh, on, yeah. mm -hmm. on Sunday. I think it was Saturday, on Saturday mm -hmm. evening. They used to get pretty good. No, it, it was it's okay. I mean, it's it's still, not like it used to be. Not like it used to be before COVID, but it's still a place where I've been going there for years and you pull up and you know you pop you know pop your hood or pop your you know you sit out there and really show about what you got. But going. what's the best place to go to nowadays on a Sunday if you wanted Jefferson. to you know pull Where? your old school car? Probably Jefferson right now. Yes, yeah, so Oak Cliff has a spot on Jefferson, which is down strip, little downtown strip in Jefferson. It's on Saturday on or Sunday in Oak Cliff Sundays. And everybody be out there with their old cars. They'll take their old schools. It got real good, but now it's getting. Police are getting real heavy, and oh. you, know, you know how it always—they always do people, that. People show up who shouldn't be there, who don't have those type of vehicles, who don't care about nothing. And they they're out there they acting fool, it. trying to figure a way to steal something, or hurt something. That aren't burn off, and you know, just get the cops really showing heavy. out. Yeah, and we don't want to be there either. So. No, that's not what it's even about. You know, what's not, the biggest car show? Mm. And that ever comes to Dallas. So for Dallas, we have. Um, He's not doing it this year, which I'm I'm upset about that. He's a good guy. Uh, Taurus Taurus Empire does a car show here. It's a real good show. It's big. How big? Um, a good thousand cars. Mm. They bring a thousand cars. is good. That's a real good show. Um, a lot of ones we do are normally two hundred, three hundred shows. Uh, you know, two, three hundred cars, and some small ones are fifty cars. You know, mm. and then uh, the big ones though they're good. Like we have one coming up June the ninth. And wow. Do you know? Oh, uh, Rick Ross. He he. He does not the crush. real Rick Ross, but the right. Rick, Ricky Rose. Right. He does a big car show in June. You yeah. guys ever think about going down? I there? thought about it. Um, I thought about it, but a lot of people go now though to sell their cars. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. You he buy I mean? a lot too. That's why they do it though. That's okay. why they go up there. You see, they go up there. Not the to show ready. off their cars. Nah, they're gonna take them to show them off. But hopefully, somebody pays pay some Top money for dollar. it. That's why wow. they do that. Wow, other than that, man, like I said. Um, yeah. I got a question. So um, you didn't tell us, how did you start? So did you start the Players Club? Um, the, so we established in 92. 
Okay. And I was part of it. So I was I was a guy. When you say we, who, who? So there's, there was a couple of us. So every time you get a car club going, you kind of want to establish like a president, mm -hmm. a vice president. Uh, depends how big you are. You'd have like a secretary, you know, handle money if they do fees and, you know, whatever you do, collect money or not. And then, um, so I wasn't either that. I was that bottom guy down there. I was the bottom one. And um, the guy I told you about with all those cars, he was mm -hmm. the president for players back then. Wow. And what happened to him? He got, you know, he got caught up as well. He had to go do a little vacation time. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know. Real stomp down stepper. Yeah. I get it. Okay. Yeah. You know, he's stepping right now. Pair it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's back home. He's back oh, home. Oh, he's back. He's home. What the car is that? He's, they, they still have him. Oh, man. You know what I mean? They so, got him. They yeah, won't they get him, him back, will they? Mm -hmm. There's no get back. Damn. There's no get back. So. You know, uh, one of my partners that came on here, his partner lost his cars, and they oh, yeah. started to auction them off. He went and bought them back, bought a few of them back. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is yeah, that yeah, is possible. You, you can do that too. Yeah. yeah. They just Did they auction his cars. yet? They, yeah, that was that's that's years ago. Years so, ago. Yeah, they're gone. They're and, gone. And, yeah, and, and yeah, you know how that go, Joe. They Joe they had the money to go get them, them for. Joe, you like I can't buy them damn cars. Yeah, back then we couldn't. If we, if we could, we would have bought them because yeah, he had some nice cars. No, he had some nice cars. Wow. Um, you know, um, let's talk about the Japan uh, uh, yes. link and how you guys are linked. And uh, players is all the way in Japan. Japan. And Japan. is that the only other place it is in? Um, right now we have, um, with with Ivan and them, we have one in, in San, San Diego. Diego. Uh, we have one in Comanche, Texas, which is a couple hours away. And then we, um, we were going to do one in Florida, but the guy kind of, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to watch them while they're away from you. And then Japan hit us up. And so now we have three chapters in Japan. Wow. And they're low riders. But how do you how do you make sure that they stay uh, true to the rules and all the regulation when we come went down through to that. Players? We went through that and um we, we sat down on, on the internet obviously and we went back and forth and they understood what we wanted and I told him, you know, you have to get a couple of cars in it. And he called me back on the deal, and we chat. It's kind of hard sometimes, but we yeah, make that, it happen. Yeah, there's a language barrier Yeah, right we, there. we make it happen, though. So. <laughs> yeah, uh, shout out to Siri. <laughs> shout out to Siri. Or Google Translate, yeah. Uh, Already. Yeah. Um, man, you know, like I said, um, love, love, love the fact that y'all get into it. Uh, what else you got? I got a question. So, Pinky, yes, you were raised in North Dallas, right? Yes. And... I want to know about your childhood coming up. Um, oh you were you? <laughs> she said, "Oh, because I just have a feeling that you have a story to tell." I look like that. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so I grew up in a household. There was thirteen of us. Mm. My grandparents were the drug dealers. My aunts and uncles and um, yeah, my parents they were drug addicts and prostitutes, and all the grandkids just ran wild and never got told like uh, what to do. You know, we just ran the streets. Mm. Did any of y'all ended up on drugs or prostitution with that? So I watched everybody, you know, do what they did. And I was the only one, I think, out of my brothers, sisters, my cousins that didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Like I told myself, like, I'm not going to be like y'all, you know. So, you know, they kind of fell into that lifestyle. Um, How hard was it to stay away from it since you were surrounded it like hard. it? It wasn't hard for me because... I knew that's not who I was. And I knew I was gonna be better than that. So. Mm. Did they treat you like, cause when you sort of act like that, they sort of like bully you, be like, oh, you think you better than us? Oh, da, I used da, da. to fight. I used to fight. I even uh, got in boxing when I was 13 years old. Mm. And Were I, you any I, good? I would fight. I was a Golden Glove boxer. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you so little. She yeah. gonna punch something though. But see, at that time I was four foot seven. Big no, dog. Four foot two. I was four foot two. Uh -uh. Yeah, so. How old were you? 13. Okay. And um, and you were good. So I got in a fight a lot because I got picked a lot because how little I was and I used to cry. And my mom took me to the hospital and they told me I was a 13 year old in a nine year old's body. Mm. So I, I fought a lot. And then next thing you know, I took hormone shots that made me grow nine inches in one year. Wow. Yeah. So No, seven inches, I'm sorry. Six inches to a foot in one year. And it was $10,000, I grew seven inches. That's crazy. So then after that, um, you know, I still fought. I fought like crazy. So I was did in you a do stupid anything? girl gang. <laughs> I was in a girl gang. I used to, you know, well, just fight. Is the gang still around? No, I, I don't talk to none of them. I I moved away from that lifestyle. I mean, yeah, I was bad and I would fight. I didn't uh, do the drugs or anything like that. I got away from my family. I got pregnant. 
How old were you when 17. you got? Oh, 17. And I had my son at 18. Mm -hmm. And then I got pregnant again at 21. And then had my daughter. And then after that, I moved my kids away. Mm. And then I was like, that's it. I moved on the outskirts. And I was like, I'm not going to have my kids raised like this and see what I saw. But you were so young to be on your own, 18 years old. So were you still with the father of the kids? How were you? Who was helping you? My mother. I took her okay. with me. Oh, you took her with you. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, because I needed somebody to help me so I can work and get on my grind and do what I got to do and take care of her and my kids. And you didn't want to go into professional boxing or nothing like that? Oh, by that time, I was already lost. Mm. I, I got lost in it. Um, my family didn't, like, guide me. They didn't tell me to stay in school. I dropped out uh, my senior year because I was pregnant, they didn't let me go to school, and then when I came back, they never recorded none of my credits, none of my work, and they lost it, and I flipped out on the teacher, and I was like, I'll never come back, and I and walked you, away. You didn't finish, so even now, you still didn't want to go back and get your GED or none of that stuff? Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> I've, made, I've made it, I think I've, I've done pretty good for my life. Talk that. about it. That's good. Um, I drive 18 wheelers cross country. Ooh, wow. And um, I race motorcycles from time to time. Uh, Man, do you know men seeing you getting out that truck, boy, they looking at you like you a state. Oh, my God, I've had some experience. Man, they uh, looking at her like when she get out mm, that truck, tell boy, me that mouth is hell. But mm, God damn, tell, did you so, see that, boy? Tell me one of <laughs> them stories. I know I didn't just think I see what I saw. Yeah, because you cute. Was she driving? Yeah. 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 You didn't get her out of that truck. Yeah. Boy, come here, let me show I mean, you I this. I jump out like, Beep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they like, <laughs> come here. Hey, Bob. You gotta see this. You gotta yeah, so one time I was, it was about midnight. Mm -hmm. um, I forgot what state I was in. I was putting fuel and I was doing the windshield, you know, trying to do the fucking windshield. <laughs> and uh, some I, black guy, he was probably like six foot tall and he was huge. So I'm over here thinking it. And we leave the trucks on while we're feeling, so you can't really hear. It's kind of loud, you know. I'm like, dinner. He comes up behind me right here. And like I say, it's around midnight, it's dark outside. I'm by myself. And he's like, you like driving them big trucks, girl. <laughs> I jumped so hard. I mean, I jerked the fuck back. I said, motherfucker, what in the fuck? Do you see me? Do you see how little I am? Good God. Good God. I see you, motherfucker. Yeah. Don't ever do that to me. <laughs> because the first thing you do when somebody scares you is you, you get you scared, jerk, then yeah. you get mad. Yeah. I was like, you what automatically, the fuck? you get scared and you get mad. Think about it. Oh, so yeah. when somebody hits you, hey, you, what, man, don't do that shit. Yeah, he scared the <laughs> fuck out of me. You know, I'm in the fucking another state by myself in the middle of the night, and he does that to me. So I kind of laughed it off, whatever, cool. I pull up to go back inside and get my receipt, and there's another guy. He's. Everybody's tall to me, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was trying to reach for a drink, and he was following me around the store, or around the gas station. And I just kind of ignored it, just kept going, try to get my thing. I tried to get the drink, I got the drink. I step on the, the door thingy to reach the drink. He didn't even help me. And then he tries to follow me down the aisle, and then he's like, hey, miss, and I, I, I'm trying to be nice. I'm like, yes. And he's trying to talk to me and this and that and the other. And then he started following me, like trying to talk. And I was like, let me go to the register and just, okay, whatever, come on. You know, um, stuff like that. People are, uh, some guy tried to ask me if I would, uh, I need to give him my number, uh, that I'm not a real trucker. Um, and I'm just a girl to be passed around. Mm. Yeah. He was another trucker. Cause he, oh, he, he was, was another trucker as well. He was trying to get wow. at you. He and, know I how to, and I didn't. Most of the time, guys are intimidated mm -hmm. and say weird stuff. I had this dwarf. <laughs> Check this shit out. <laughs> this motherfucker was little. I know I'm little, okay? But he was smaller than you. Yeah, he was a dwarf. Dwarf. So it was at a pilot in uh, New Jersey. Uh huh. And I was up there, I was getting fuel. I go inside and uh, I guess, I don't know if he was like cleaning or whatever, and I, I do what I gotta do, and I'm walking out. As I'm walking out, he runs after me. All right, I walked out there, dee, 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 dee. and he runs after me. He's like, hey, 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 again, me being nice. <laughs> yes. And no, you like, yeah. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> well, and he was like, uh, and the way, look, can I show you? Yeah, what did he do? He was like, you drive trucks? You drive those big trucks? And I'm like, yeah. He goes, I'm as big as you. And he's about like down here to me. Yeah, and I'm trying. like, <laughs> He was trying to get yeah, at you. Yeah, you're as big as me. And, um, he was like, I'm strong. And I'm like, okay, good. This game, and he starts hitting hand. his chest. And he's like, can I give you a hug? Oh, God. So I was like, okay. He held me so tight. <laughs> and all the other truckers are just watching me. I don't blame him. <laughs> Everybody, because we're at the fuel pumps, you know, and I'm trying to walk back to my truck. And he just grabbed me so tight. And I'm like, okay. 
All right, thank you. He wanted to be. He, he, he you was trying to be nice. Made his I, day. I just tried to be nice. Yeah, made I was his like, day. yeah, yeah. You why made his day. Get, made his day. Why did you? I mean, no. Go ahead. I just um, I don't know. It's weird. People do weird stuff to me. But well, why do you get into that that career? Because I'm it, a tomboy at heart. Oh, okay, that's I, why. I've always done a man's job. Mm. Uh, I work down the fields. Uh, I drive uh, like those big boom lifts, um, forklifts. Uh, you carry a pistol with you every time? Not anymore. Why you stopped? Because I got pulled over one time in Houston on I-10 in the truck, and uh, I had my gun, but I also had a THC pen, and they took it. Mm. Yeah, it. yeah. Gun. Yeah, yeah, you can't, that, you can't do that. Nope. No, no. But no, no, I'm not done, though. I'm not done. Hold on now. God got me. <laughs> Check this shit out. So they let me go. First, mm -hmm. they took my gun. They took the TAC pen. They had me in cuffs for four hours. And they had the dogs. They called um, all different types of people to get in my trailer. I told my trailer was empty because they thought I was transporting people or drugs. So I'm like, I ain't got nobody. You know, I'm empty. I'm going to pick up a load. And uh, so they caught all these people out. They had these machines. They opened the trailer inside the machines. They started mm. ripping the inside of the trailer mm. because it was a uh, refrigerated, you know? So they started ripping it. Well, for, after four hours later, and I'm just looking at them through the fucking car, like, come on, man. And uh, they found nothing. The guy comes back, the officer comes back. He goes, uh, turn around, because you know I was handcuffed. So I turn around, he took my cuffs off me. He says, you're gonna get in your truck and you're gonna go. I said, um, okay, so what do I do? What am I supposed to do? You're gonna give me a ticket, you're gonna, he's like, you're gonna get in your truck and you're gonna go and they will contact you, just look for a letter in the mail. Cool, boom, I jumped in the truck and I took off. I started Google searching, like, oh my God, I'm just about to get in trouble for this, that, and the other. And it says, you know, I could do up 10 years, all this shit with that. And I was just like, oh my God, I fucking damn near lost that. I cried and cried and cried so hard. I ran for two years. I stayed across country for two years just because I found out I was wanted and uh, I was in another state, and they say, hey, you were just in jail? And I was like, nah. They go, yeah, you were, you were convicted. I said, no, I wasn't. I don't know what you're talking about. He told me what it said, so automatically I knew what he was talking about. So I call the um, county, right? And then I call the sheriff's office, and I ask them, and the lady's like, you need to turn yourself in. I said, ma'am, uh, I'm not even in the state of Texas. I'm in New York. <laughs> you know, I'm not even around. She's like, well, when you get back, you need to turn yourself in. Okay. So I was like, can I bond myself out first? You know what I'm saying? She says, no, you need to come in because he might change, you know, whatever your bond is. Because now I have a $20,000 bond. And then I was like, fuck. So I ran for two years because I was, you know, I got my kids, my mother, I was taking care of my brother, my sister, her baby. All I got, they depend on me. Right. So I was so like, you didn't see your kids for two years. Well, I mean, I would come home for like two oh, days okay. at a time and then take off. But I'll be gone for two weeks at a time. OK. And then, um, yeah, I ran for two years. And then finally, last year in December, uh, somebody was trying to uh, turn me in. My sister, let's mm. just say it like that. She just, she's a bitch, she's that type of female. And she called the cops because she knew how to warn out for my wrist and um, tried to lock me up after I was taking care of her and her, her kid right. in my household. Okay, so I tried to get the fuck out, da da da. They, the cops came, I ran. Mm. I ran. I ain't saying, bitch, you ain't gonna have that pleasure of locking me up. But not only that, I, I mean, you're about to take my kids' roof away from them, your fucking roof away from you and your kid, you know, and all this stuff. So I ran. And then I, I stayed outside. I went to some jack box and I sat there. I'm like, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? I called a Bell's bond. See, they told me I couldn't bond out, right, first. Well, I called a Bell's bond. I told this lady the whole story of what happened. And she's like, don't worry, I'll pay for, or I'll bond you out. Come to me first. Uh. I'll pay right now so you can come right back out. Cool, I'll be there first thing in the morning. I ran home and uh, I got some clothes. I told my kids, I said, I, I'm gonna pay my bond. So I'll be home, I think, at least in two days. Let's just say that. And they said, okay, I said, I'll be back. So I took off, I went to see her. We did everything. She calls uh, the sheriff's department, all right? Asked them about me, nothing came up. She called another county, asked them about me, another came up, nothing came up. She called her uh, brother-in-law, because he was a sheriff. She was, let me call one more time, because I'm sitting there like, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck, all right. And then um, she called him, he called back, she put him on speakerphone, nothing came up. Wow. She stood up. I stood up. She shook my hand. I said, thank you, man. I said, what if later on they come back at me with it? She goes, you can sue them. There's nothing there. They can't do nothing to you. I turned around and walked out. I said, thank you, God. 
Woo. Give her a hand and clap. Thank you. That's crazy. crazy. The blessings of the Lord. Yes. The presence and of you the Lord is running all those years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So and how did you December. feel? You felt so bad. Oh, relieved. yeah. I mean, I stepped out that, that door and I said, thank you, God. I was like, thank you, God. And I went to go party. Sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <T-Ray>. <laughs> you got to get in here, baby. You got to get in here. I got to get him in here. Come on, Ray Let T. Let me get up. Ray T, did I say that wrong? Ray T. Yes, Ray, Ray T. T. I turned it around backwards. You Flipped said T Ray. <laughs> Ray T is in the building, guys. Ray down, T done down pulled down. up. Let's he here down. now. You got. You can both stand back there. Oh, he, he stood yeah, for you. Yeah. Oh, okay. he did. He, he, he stood for me on the side. It don't matter. He still was here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was here, wasn't you? I want to block you. Sure was. Oh, sure was. Oh. Y'all gonna have to be quiet now and see you <laughs> little, little pinky tough, man. God dang, where you find her at again? Huh? Where'd you find her at? Who, little pinky? Well, you know, I've seen her on social media, you know what I mean? And I actually see, like, we have a lot of mutual people that we kind of know a little bit here and there. So, uh, I, you know, I've been working on a movie and, uh, you know. What's the name of the movie? Superstars. 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 Yeah. You gotta say it like that. You yeah. can't say Superstars. Superstars. Yeah. Based Shit, out of hard. Dallas. Based out of Dallas. Um, how long you been working on it? So about uh, a year now. I've been working on it about a year. Yeah. About a year. Yeah. Um, when you when you think about the Dallas area, what what made you want to do a movie here? Is it you trying to capture the landmarks? You trying to make people know that Dallas got something to offer? What made you get into doing a movie, and why'd you pick here? So actually, I grew up in Oak Cliff, so I'm a native here in Dallas. You know what I mean, and. Uh, I actually wanted to capture the whole lifestyle here in Dallas because what I've noticed working around with people from different states and things like that, they think we just, you know, uh, horses and cows down here, you know what I mean? No, that's true. But uh, it's a whole different lifestyle. You know, I I grew up in the 90s, you know what I mean? So I grew up in the gangbanging era, you know what I mean? Um, What I call the golden era when there was a lot of D-boys and a lot of stuff going on. So How old are you? So um, I'm in my 30s, you know what I'm saying? And you don't know nothing about Baby G's over there on Dolphin, nigga. You don't, you young, you don't know. <laughs> Baby G's over there by, by was right used to buy liquor in, in in the south. We couldn't get liquor everywhere back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to go on the you industrial. Had to go, yeah, on yeah, industrial. Or yeah. Dolphin. We yeah. went off Dolphin. You know, I'm yeah. just trying to tell you. And right beside the liquor store, they had a strip club called Baby G's. Yeah, okay. So you don't know nothing about that. Yeah, so. And then it, it gets deep. Yeah, it, it gets Dallas is, is Dallas like, yeah. is Dallas is something different, man. It's, it's, yeah, it's real different. It's real different. A lot of people don't know that. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, a lot of people don't know that that lifestyle, and that's what I'm trying to showcase. It's not to glam, you know, glorify, but it's also to show, hey, you know, we got a story down here too. You wow, know, there's a lot of stuff going on. Wow, what, what, what? Who all you got in the movie again? So um, I'm gonna have Big Tuck. You know, we got shout out. It's yeah, the Big T. U C K. Two on the mic like a Mike Buffet. Outside the realest. You, man, already know, you know, know what I'm saying? OG, that, triple OG. Uh, I got my Big Tuck too. on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have a Gun Amizi on it. Gun Amizi on it. He came in there. I bet you did that. Yeah, it don't rapid fire. Yeah, I got him. I got Jerry Garcia, the comedian from California. Wow. I got him. Him on you it. got Jerry. You supposed to have Ralph Barbos on that thing. Hey, hey, I reached out, hey, reach out to the boy. I reached out to the boy. Is, we you know, need you, baby. Heard back from him. I haven't heard back from the boy, and he's, he's we hometown. That's so my home. I got his number. You know, I'm at the hit him up. I'm at the hit that yeah, boy you know up, But yeah, I got Jerry Garcia on. I got Gangsta Boogie from Chicago. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. So you getting a lot of different people from a lot of different yeah, places. I got, I got a, you know, I, I made which is good. Yeah, yeah. I made my own relationships with these people. You know what I mean? And when the time was right, you know, I reached out and let them know what the project I was doing and they all agreed to it and um, you know we get wow. to it. You know and when I mean? is it coming out? So I'm hoping to drop it 2025. Okay. You know I'm going to finish filming. Um, I'm about halfway through the filming this year. Um, I'm about to drop a trailer next month on it and then we're going to drop the official extended trailer hopefully at the beginning of, the, of 2025 and I should have it dropped by the summer. And is this your first movie you've ever this done? This is my first movie. This is my first movie that I'm doing. Um, Congratulations. I actually, what, thank you. Thank you very much. I actually was on um, Queen of the South mm-hmm. um, season finale, uh, season two. Um, I also was on Murder Made Me Famous, the Aaron Hernandez story. I've heard that before. And I also was on the movie The Last Champion. So, wow. so that work, motivated you. <laughs> that's exactly. So working on those projects, um, that kind of motivate me to to want to make Do a movie about, about about the city, you know what I mean, wow. and, and showcase our, our lifestyle down here. So it's all about Dallas. It's, yes, it's all about Dallas, but you're also going to see connections with other states because it's it's going to show the street lifestyle here, and I'm showcasing how 
the browns and blacks are connected down here, right? Mm -hmm. Because in other states, it's not like that. It's real segregated. But here in Texas, and especially here in Dallas and Oak Cliff, me growing up, I'm used to us being this, like right, this. Right, right. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm showcasing this, that lifestyle. And that's how we, awesome. How we come together like that. and get money together. Hopefully that I mean? motivated a lot of people from other cities to do the same. You know? No, that's 100% true. What about the... Uh, what about the music? Let's talk about it. You and Lil, Lil Grifo got a song that's about to drop in a couple of days? Yeah, actually, me and Lil Grifo, um, we collabed on a song recently, actually last week. Um, we just shot the video. I have Lil Pinky. You know, I got Joe's uh, 6'4 in there. You know what I mean? I got everybody in there. Um, and we're, we're about to probably drop that this Monday. You know, mm -hmm. um, wow. we got that going on right now. But yeah, the video's uh, just officially done yesterday. Um, so we just sent it when off. When it so drop, I can't wait. We're going to run that thing. Gonna run it. 4 a.m. in Dallas is what it's called. So 4 a.m. in Dallas. It's dog, baby. And ain't nobody out, man. I ain't going to lie to Grim Weeper. It's the only thing out at 4 in the morning. Don't get out there and get caught slipping on them Highway 35. I have to uh, uh, go over there to 75. Uh, go over there to Webb Chapel Road. And uh, <laughs> little piggy over there at DK. <laughs> 4 a.m. Yeah. Man, that's a hell of a time. Yeah. Uh, I, but. But okay, um, just want to tell you, man. Like I said, I'll be looking forward to the music, and um, and the movie, and the Appreciate movie. It. And how did you two link? Just before we get off of here. So actually, me and Joe go way back, some years. So wow. I, I actually consider him a friend. You wow. Know what I mean, so it's not just a business relationship. I've been knowing him maybe ten years, maybe yeah, ten yeah. plus years. Yeah, every bit. You know, um, and I actually met him. You know, if, uh, doing doing music too. You know, what I'm saying I've been I've been dipping and dabbling with the music here and there and stuff like that. So originally I came up under George Lopez. You know, from yeah, Dallas. Yeah, yeah. George been on here. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I was under originally under him, and when I was doing music, you know, um, you know, I, I bumped into Joe. You know, we built a relationship. He'll bring out some cars. I have my cars out. And then we just built a friendship from there, and we've just been cool ever since, you know. And I'm actually getting down with the Players Club. That must say he get know? down with the Players Club. I'm going to get that Chevelle out that garage. It's going down. Yeah, you know, going to be on the Players. Y'all ain't got no Chevelles in there, D. We don't yeah. have one. Boss talk. We will have Gonna one. Going to be the first one to get that <laughs> with you. We will have one. I'm coming through, and it ain't going to be long, baby. And it ain't going to be a low rider. No, I don't have to be. I just pull up. I got the, I got the regular. <laughs> uh, I can't drop. No, I can't do that. You can't drop it. No, nah. yeah, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old school, yeah. Old school, it got, I, I, I still, good, I still got the chill on that thing, man. Okay, okay yeah. I still got the chill fooses on that thing. So, what's your man? dream car? My dream car is actually a convertible six four. So mm. just like Joe's, but convertible. You know, convertible. What I mean? I'll take Joe's though. You know, <laughs> See, I gotta take his. But uh, convertible though, yeah, that's my dream. Just you know, like in Boys in the Hood, you know, like, yeah. oh, you know, just growing up, you know, watching that that. I, that car, I was like, oh, I, I, that's what I want right there. Mm. You know, if I give me an old school, that's the one that I want to get. So, yeah, come okay. on, six four. Man, you you didn't see my boy Ice Cube when he said, "I gotta go because I got me a drop, drop top, and if I hit the strip." I, I can, can make, make the ass yeah. drop. You already know. <laughs> Yo, man, boy, y'all yeah, got a nigga know. going, man, I'm all the way out there right now, man. Yeah. Say, man, so how can people get a hold of you? This is the breakdown. And I'm going to get yours, too. And Bishop, man, why you don't want to say nothing, bro? I'll secure Nah, yeah. he, got, he, got, he, got, he got the Silverado out there, man. It's not a game. All of us uh, is players. And get what? I got it already tatted on my own the players. So it's easy for me. I already done signified mine. I ain't got to go get no tat or nothing. <laughs> it's already I already stand. got it. Already stand. You know what I'm talking about? Fish. Fish. <laughs> and the good thing about us is we don't have just low riders. A lot of people do keep a certain. Uh, if you don't have a low rider, you're not in. Yeah, I mean, if you don't have a hot rod, you're not in. Yeah, there's, there's a oh, bunch of different classes. So yeah, mine loaf a little bit. I got this, I got the pipes coming out the back, chrome, yeah, white interior. Everything. When I pull up, you gonna know I'm there. That's yeah. right. It ain't gonna yeah. be no yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, how yeah. many members y'all yeah. have? Um, here in Dallas, we have um, we have more cars than we have members. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, so I have four myself. I like that. Some I of the like guys that. have three, you know, two, three cars. So yeah, we have probably about twelve guys with twenty five cars. Okay. So. Yeah, that's yeah. Strong. Shout out to Boss Talk. We finna go bigger. down through there, nigga. I got a club now, so it's that's over. It. So yeah. how can they reach out to y'all? So players on um, Facebook would be the like page, obviously, and then and same thing on Instagram, Player CC on Instagram. So okay, and you? Oak Cliff Ray T two one four on IG. Um, you know um, Ray T on Facebook. You know you can find me on on those platforms there. And Pinky, Pinky come on up. Step right up. Step up to the mic. Where can they find you? Uh, little Pinky, it's L I L P I N K Y, no spaces, dot Barbie, that's my Instagram. Little Pinky 
uh, underscore R6, underscore ZX10, underscore Barbie <laughs> on Facebook. Damn, uh, that's a Low Pinky Barbie on TikTok. Yeah. There you go. Damn. Um, <laughs> she's going to be with Bishop, you. Bishop, what's up, baby? We she can't call you. you. Cut to go through Joe. Oh, you got to go through Joe to get the Bishop. He ain't playing no games. Low Security. Key. So key. June the 9th, we have a car show. Uh, Dallas Lowrider, original Lowrider car show is coming June the 9th, Fair Park. And we're actually going to have Miss Little Pinky with us yeah. modeling for us. You going to be modeling? Yes, yeah, I'm Jackie. Hey, <laughs> that's why the boys at the, the, the gas station. I mean, at them truck stops. I was stop. not like that. No, yeah, that's what they doing over there. They, they see what's going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man, listen, man. We appreciate you guys for coming through. Appreciate we love you guys, man. Yeah. Let us know if there's anything Boss Talk One Hundred One can do for you, and it's done. So, man, hey, man, thank you a lot. We appreciate you, man. Let's go, let's go, we let's go to kick it in them sure. cars, man. So, you, let's go over the cars right quick before we get out of here. What kind of car you got? Um, today I brought the 64 Impala Super Sport original Man. matching numbers. How long did it take you to fix that thing up? I'm not going to lie to you. This one, I just bought it. My kids, it was already fixed yeah, up. Yeah, my kids, I told myself when my kids get their degree from college, I'm going to go celebrate for myself. Wow. I made sure I put them ahead, and then I, I went and got and you this. got a good deal? No, no. Every, <laughs> it, it was up there. It was up there. It was pretty it was high. At, it was at market value. Yeah, it what was about, up there. It looks amazing. Right. What, what about you? What, what about you, my guy? All right, dude, what you got out uh, there? I just brought my daily driver, man. Yeah, it's my yeah, daily yeah. driver. The 96, we lost the keys. The 96 Impala, yeah. so we lost the keys. To That's the good. Project. That's good stuff. But, yeah, I got a 300S, you know, Beats by Dre edition. You know what I mean? Ooh, so yeah, That one is a limited edition, so yeah. Okay, and Pinky, did you bring anything for us today? No. Yo, you gonna, <laughs> next time you're going to have, you bring something? Okay, I have a um, uh -oh. 2004 Avalanche. It's going it's down. It's lifted, 12 inch lift with 40 inch tires. Ooh. I just knew you was going to be pink. something lifted. I do it all the time. I do it. And, and let's talk about that truck out there. Your, your boy, Bishop, go. what you got out there? 85 C10. 85 C10, how long you had it? About two years. By two years, no, you no, fixed no, it no, up. No. It was already fixed up. Oh no! Nah. Sitting on forges. Yeah. Sitting on forges. They threw that in there. Yeah. Sitting on forges, nigga. He yeah. said it was a rust bucket. He did it. I'm gonna be from the scratch. first one. I, what's that new car they got? That that truck. They get that, that that ugly truck that everybody yeah. driving out of space. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Cyber I'm truck. Gonna, I'm gonna Cyber be the first truck. one with a cyber truck and players. I'm gonna bring that whole through. Y'all gotta get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys, man. We love you guys, yeah, man. You. It's been yeah. another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.